up? Come on, everybody. Yeah, it's Friday and we're ready. We are ready for the weekend, baby. Woo! Good morning. Good morning, George. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Aaron. So those of you in Tulsa tonight, there's a big route rally in March for Unity. Feel free to join. Uh, it starts downtown and goes all the way to uh, John Hope Reconciliation Park, which would be another good place to meet if you can't do the rally. Morning, Peter. All right. Morning, Rana. Let's get into this. Hello, good morning. What's up, everybody? Today is Friday, August 18th. We're live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My name is Nate the Great, and you're watching Three Points. First off, here we go. Yesterday afternoon in Barcelona, a large white van plowed through the plowed through tourists on the crowded street called Las Ramblas Avenue, claiming the lives of at least 13 people and injuring over 100 more. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, and the driver who fled on foot is still at large. Spanish media named 18-year-old Musa Obakir as the attacker. And, moving right along, just hours later, in the seaside town of Cambrils, just 68 miles southwest of Barcelona, Spanish police shot and killed five men attempting to carry out a similar vehicle attack. Seven people were injured when they drove the vehicle in, in for the attack, but wrecked and overturned the car. When the... Ex when they exited the car, they were dressed in explosives and police officers on the scene neutralized them. It turns out, however, that the explosives were fake, which is good. That could have gotten very messy. And lastly, yesterday in Nigeria, the local government announced that some 100 girls from the town of Chibuk that were kidnapped by Boko Haram back in 2014 have received psychological and medical treatment and are ready to return home to, quote, normal life. Some 270 girls were originally captured by the Boko Haram in 2014, and shortly after their capture, about 60 of them ex escaped. About 100 of the girl, uh, 100 Chibuk girls are still believed to be in captivity. Boko Haram has killed over 20,000 people and displaced over 2 million civilians in its eight-year insurgency in northeast Nigeria. And that about finishes off the gourd for today. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Feel free to seek out the rallies of peace, and kindness, and anti-racism in your town. Until next time, you've been watching Three Points.